so we'll go for 60 minutes I'm going to open uh, my text editor I've already started my ZAMP Okay, close this. This is Raya Gunizuri, Mama. Zuri, Mama. Zuri, Mama. Tina Macha Yago Kamaya Chupa. Okay, there we go. So we stop that where you can come here localhost create then uh, if you click here you are able to create at least a single product so you click here on the home page oh what happened okay yeah, yeah. Uh, parent directory okay so click on home page you're able to see welcome to eShop and then you had a menu so all products you know on the list are uh, how to list all the products eh? so list all the products you're just going to direct this one to the API. We don't have time to list these things on uh, on the user interface of the mobile. I mean, of the web. So to do that, we're just going to create another API uh, link. It's going to create just call it. I'm going to call it um, products. So I'll come in the folder of API and say new file. I'm going to call it products. Dot. Hmm. Before we come there, let us first upload a pro in an image. Let us first work on the logic of uploading a what? An image on both web and what? And mobile. So after working on the logic of uploading the image, then you can go ahead and do the upload product. Okay, so to upload an image, uh, so we'll come and first work with the form of uh, the web. So the form of the web, you just simply start the form and then uh, put the link, put the method as post, mm -hmm. then uh, encrypt type, encrypt multi-part stroke form data yeah like that and then on this side of the server let me before i even do any checkup let me just uh, dump everything that comes uh in the what in the in the files super globally so i'm going to say php i mean print underscore r and then say files and then die so this file is the one that uh, works with the product with images that have been uploaded or file that have been uploaded so let's go ahead and do that so i'll come here add product and then here i'm going to come and select uh, an image okay this so is that png and submit so surprisingly it's not coming oh i think uh, i get i get the problem <laughs> i get the problem the problem is we are not giving this input of an image a name it does not have a name a name attribute that's why it's not coming let's give it a name or called image okay i can pick or photo anything okay call it an image that's why it was not coming so refresh and then now attach there some image okay so upload it boom you see we have now some things that are inside the what inside the file so we're going to work on the logic of uploading this image so we're going to first set if this time the image is being uploaded so to do that we just simply come here on the API and check if it is if there's an image. You know, someone sometimes someone may not send an image, may not send a, fo a photo. So you have to look at if the image is really if there is an image uh, before we go ahead and upload it. So you know here the name of the image is called image. So you have to come here and check. And these images that are being uploaded they are inside these files. Eh? So you first check if th there's an image coming. So just say if if is set okay is set um is set then uh, open bracket and then super global variable of files and then in the attribute of what of images image okay so you set you check if image is set if it is set then you know okay now at least we have an image coming you can go ahead and also set if the name is there if the error is zero all those things but will not make it that much complex okay so if 
there's an image then not that that's okay there's some image otherwise let's create just an image image link and make it default or i can put here just like uh, no image dot jpg so this will be the default what default link of an image so it means that when an image is being uploaded then we're going to work on that logic between these brackets if an image uh, parameter is set inside the files a uh, super global variable so let's go ahead and do that just come here uh, search php upload file or upload image just come here wc uh, add this grepper you should add this grepper uh, what grepper plugin i mean extension to your google chrome it will help you so much as a developer to get answers you see i just say php upload file and i get the answer even without uh, reading anything just so just come to your chrome and search grepper like this grepper chrome extension chrome extension so add this extension it's very very important i just started using it lately but i'm really enjoying it you see add this guy no no no, not this one it's called grepper not grepper grepper like that grepper so this grepper chrome extension grepper or grepper whatever grepper this one it's really 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 important and uh you see it is having five out of five it's five almost five out of five uh, review very important for developers and it is really growing at good speed you see yeah when was it created okay it's really going at good speed why it helps you to do the code when you search anything that is related to the code it gives you the answer so it stores the code that people always get as helpful and then when you want when you search any error it gives you the answer before you even go through too much research so you see i just say php file upload you see uh, i get the answer this is how you write the file and this is how you upload you see this is how you upload so without too much pain i already know that otherwise you could come here to w3 schools and then they will take you through too much story yes it works but it will be <laughs> too much story <laughs> okay so uh try grepper but still also w3 schools work so any website will work also but grepper will simplify stuff for you so let me copy this small simple code of what of grepper the back end side eh? okay so i'll copy it and then come i'm going to remove the useless things i'm just focusing on the important things eh? so this is the um, file name uh-huh file name whatever file name file size if you care about the size you can go ahead and take the size if you care about the name you can go ahead and take the name i'll remove the error i'll remove uh explode extension file name rename okay this is renaming okay let me just remove leave this one important so here they're getting us the you're getting the file extension but there's a better way to get a file extension and then after what are they doing here i don't need this it's trying to make it so much complicated okay let me just leave it uh, i don't know i don't okay i don't want to give you so, so much hard things the most important part here is just this one They're making things life so hard. <laughs> that's the most important part. Move. That's the most important part. Let me remove all this garbage. <laughs> okay, it is good just to make a maybe if you're making a real world application. Okay. So here you just need a temporary file, which is. which is uh temporary file she's here and then just one line you can upload it let's just check if it's it 
can upload the entire file but the guys has been making it so complex okay here and when where you want to put the image okay so where you want to put the image you can get that file name eh? let us get the file name so to get the file name of course you see this is how you can get the file name so just get the same file name okay so it's gonna be like this you did run kata kata you did run kitty kitty like that so if we don't want this name images to variety one another when they have same names put here some random just put time okay so every second there will be a new time so like that mm really good don't pretend like a dude to avoid images to override themselves eh? they can even put also a random number something like that so let us update now this image link to this one okay so here you just pass this temporary path and the second parameter you pass the image link so the image link you're going to put here first the word uploads uploads so uploads where so our files are going to go upload stroke the path i mean stroke the time and then you add the file name the original file name so let's create here a folder you have to create also here a folder now called uploads here new folder i'm going to call it what uploads so i don't know whether we should put it in the api or we should put it outside let me put it everywhere and see where it will go so i put in the folder of api uploads new finder sorry this folder of api put a folder called uploads and also outside so we'll see where it will go i also don't know uploads okay so you see so this is our new image link and then we pass it here and this is the original file okay so those are two lines that you can use to do to update to upload a php image so let us go ahead and uh, see if it will upload so come and refresh um still okay let's see was it uploaded beautiful it has been uploaded can you see but it has uploaded inside api which is okay still so if i click there i can see the image that was uploaded there it is okay so the image was uploaded successfully inside this folder of api let me delete it i don't need it okay so our image is being uploaded successfully so i'll just remove this one i'll cut this logic so i'll remove this die i'll come here we are after the name so i'll do the logic of uploading immediately after checking if everything is okay so i'll check if it is not set the image will be no image.jpg if it is set it will be updated to this one okay so what i want to do only is add one more thing that i have to insert comma image image and then here i come and put comma and then i add that image link that i just uh, uploaded okay this one here so by doing like that you can have products with their images so let me come and uh, remove this garbage that is ready in the database so i come localhost uh, so localhost php my admin and then come and um, and do what and remove this garbage eShop ea shop and then come and truncate everything that's ready there so here in products eh? you see this is what you have in products now let me, let me remove everything so just simply write the word truncate uh, products so writing that one will delete everything and reset the product the, the product able to be nothing again so let's go ahead and now upload this product so i'll just simply first come and get here an image for sugar so i'll come and say sugar sugar if you want to make good things you have to i can say jimmy you have to do what 
you have to design good stuff otherwise if you don't design good stuff then your things don't look good so that is sugar i'm going to download this image okay so otherwise if you don't put good things then uh, your image will not your product will not good i mean your, your project will not good the whole thing eh? so that's why i'm trying even take time otherwise if you don't do cool things uh, your product will not look good i mean your project will not look good i know that you will not get good marks so if i upload product has uploaded successfully and if you come to our we have the sugar what the sugar photo there beautiful let's go ahead and upload soap soap okay just seem like make it soap so I try to this to download images which are relevant which look good with same dimensions so i'm going to call it soap the jpeg and then i'll come come call here soap so you can raise some details about what some details about soap and then can put some price and then upload the up the soap photo upload okay everything's okay okay now let us uh, finish there for the web uh maybe just upload one more thing okay the rest will upload it from the mobile eh? so let us go back home let us now click on all products so that you should list all the products eh? so all the products let us do it very fast so i'll just come here and uh, come to our menu our home just let me do it very fast because one save time so all products are going to be uh, it's going to be all products dot php and i can say all products okay so this file i'm going to create it very fast very very fast i'm going to just save this very one as all products and uh, so i'm going to list here all our products all products okay can maybe say call it here yeah. products okay so let me make the width maybe to become 70 okay so can put here maybe the link back to home okay so that's do the logic of getting all the products okay so now here it's when we come to functions we need to write a file of functions the one that uh, we can use with simplicity uh, we write something only one time and then we're able to use it again and again so to do that i'm going to create here inside ap i'm going to create another file called functions functions do we need it let us first leave that one Okay, so all products, refresh here, have all products, click on all products, we have here, products, and then there's nothing. Let us go ahead and fetch those products from database and put them here. So to fetch them from database, I'm going to do here some logic, so I'll come and copy this logic that is here for connecting database, this one, eh? connecting to database, this one. So come and uh, put it here, PHP on top here of all products eh? i want to get all the products of just from database so there and then after we we connect to localhost uh, to php and then write the sql that will select all products from what from uh, from uh, database select all from uh, from ea i mean from products order by not specifying the quantity the quantity select, select oh, from yeah, select. thank you thank you so much 
thank you so much for that observation what well, by id this thank you so much for that observation so after let's run the sql so it'll be con query and then you pass the sql sql thank you so much for that observation and then after uh we we'll have to call a resource a resource equals and then after we we'll have to fetch asoc uh fetch associative array so you can just simply put here while i don't know whether i'm writing great things <laughs> fetch asoc i mean fetch and let's go asoc i don't know whether i'm writing right things i don't know write this kind of php so maybe we can call it a pro equals uh, let me first dump and see if everything will be okay uh before i do that infinite loop print underscore r okay so refresh products that okay so it, it's not dying it's not reaching here so just go query query after writing query do you put fetch a sock immediately on it and let me see die uh, printer let me see what is inside here and then die i come the pre tag save and see what is inside there uh field count length number of rows zero let us first see if this scale is okay select all from products order by id desk okay let me first die with this sql and see if that sql is okay so i'll come and refresh get that sql select all from products where this have we added any products anyway come and see paste that nothing is coming back okay why let's click on products oh we have not added anything so what about the other products that we just added there's nothing there okay let's go ahead and add someone to see uh, i'll come and uh, paste here a shop then let's we'll create some products create edit 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 add okay so then come and add this sugar i guess hope add products create successfully come and refresh and products oh something was not right okay maybe i think in the in the what in the file name but add okay so let us see image image and i see oh here yeah. you have not put a comma i see the mistake that i was doing <laughs> that's the small stupid mistake uh, it will not work so here i was putting a comma at the end of this sql i think that was the mistake refresh now things should be okay and i'm not checking if it was not so now come and check products now we have a product here that was a mistake eh? so let's go ahead and add one more uh add one more uh so let us put here maybe some 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 sugar okay uh <laughs> doing vice versa images maybe we can do 4300 simple details about about what about sugar oh sh shit simple details about sugar and then submit now if we come here shop we should have uh two products there sugar and salt and their image is already there so after doing that let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and now get this data 
coming here to all products so here in all products i'm going to remove this die and this echo and this i think now it's now okay so all products now let us go ahead and refresh here you see i at least i can get now some products okay so what we're going to do we're going to add that product in an array so i'm going to create an array so to create an array in php in a modern php we just write uh, the array name i can call it items equals and then you put like this okay so to add something in this array you just simply open the bracket here like this okay and then you equate it eh, to what you want to append there okay You equate it to what you want to happen there. So I want to equate there the pro. So I just say items, then you open those square brackets equals to. So by doing that, it will do the array append or the uh, adding append uh, an array. So by doing that, touch, then you'll be able to fetch all the products from our database. Okay. So if I come and say print underscore r and then I echo here, maybe a pre tag and then uh, i die here i should be able to see all our products in uh, you see that's the first product and this is the second product okay so after doing that let me first join this to the class Recording in progress. Uh, guys, are you still there? Yes. I got yes. some challenge with my internet. Yeah? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, we remaining a few minutes. Just be calm. I'm going to finish. Okay, so I've just write that logic of getting uh, the products uh, from from a database and just dump them here. So le you see, I just loop for each and I keep them in items and then I have this one in form of item. So let me just at a very high speed I'm going to display them here. Uh here, here, here. So I'm just going to do some for loop uh, for each of oh, PHP. I no longer write this kind of PHP. <laughs> for each plain PHP. And then I can come here and put stop here and then i can come and say i call this one uh, items i can call this one maybe p single product okay okay so i hope there we are good why is it crying okay so i think they are good so if i come and refresh i should not see anything uh, refresh nothing is there so let's go ahead and display so this one going to be just um if i want to display only the product name i can just simply say p uh is it so uh, come here and open php php and then can put here equal sign if i want just to display the name i think it's an array so i have to put um name right so if i do like that I'll have all my products name there. Let me remove this active class. Okay. So I have all the products there. Let me go ahead and put the thumbnail, the image. So I'll put the image. I'll just simply come here. Right, it's my IMG. And then give it a... Uh, of course, it's there in API, stroke, and the name of the image. So I'll just come and copy this PHP tag and add it here and put image okay image okay so let me forget to put the width otherwise i don't put the width it's going to become <laughs> crazy okay width and then i specified maybe to uh 100 pixels so if i come and refresh i'll have 
my product and my image beautiful let me go ahead and maybe just put them price okay that's enough that's enough just that's that's can tell that uh, we are successfully added some products so if you come here home uh, sorry home it is home is stroke what stroke e e what e shop the health has come here so you see i've created just a simple application so you come here home come add product i can now select maybe i can enter a product called um, um cup and then maybe a cup is um 800 shillings and then i can come and get the image of a cup okay so let me get this one and then i save it call it cup uh, come update it here some details about a cup then upload beautiful so if you come back here come to home refresh click on all products you see a cup has come and it's on top so that's beautiful now let us go ahead and see how we can upload an image from what from a mobile application so what i'm going to do i'm going to first run our application okay so let's run it i'll first create my emulator and called boot it okay so that is as it called booting so it has uh, look at here the image picker flutter so flutter has another nice image file i mean another nice picker for flutter see this of uh, what of uh, grepper it gives us the solution they just say add this and then do this or cdk so grepa does that for us so this flutter uh, flutter has a nice image picker uh, package it's called just pack that you can take from um, from from a camera or from what or from mobile phone or from gallery okay so this is the library so let's go ahead and uh, add it in our project so to add in your project just click on installing i say you can run this command or you can just write add this one to your dependencies let's go ahead and add this one to our dependencies so i'll come is it the one anyway image <laughs> let me first make sure it's the one uh, providing ability to load and save huh? load save multiple images variety formats in library written image pika flutter package okay so i think it's this one yeah 130 points so to add it a lot of chinese here there's a lot of information uh, all that you need is to install so to install you can run this command in your command line or you just add this one in your dependencies so let's go ahead and add it in our dependencies publish so i'll come here make sure it's on the same line with flutter and click on pubget as i run it also here so as it will be clicking on pubget as it will be loading let's go ahead and uh, and do what and see how we can pick an image. So to pick an image, what do they say? Read me, I'll come here to read me. Uh, to pick an image, they just simply say, uh, you write, import this. Do, they, do you have any setting? Starting Android 0 0.81, what, 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 what? Uh -huh. Android legacy, true. Storage, you have to add this in our manifest, okay? We have to add this one in our application manifest in the as an attribute so i'll come and copy this piece of line 
okay and then come to uh, application I mean to Android here Android folder this one here then click on uh, app expand app expand SRC expand main come to Android manifest come to this application and then come to the attribute and add this line Android request sorry and and add this line eh? this one that I've just copied from there okay then after uh, import these okay to pick an image just call this one eh? image picker like this final image picker and then this one will pick an image pick an image from a uh, camera pick an image from uh, gallery let us pick an image from camera so to pick an image from camera just write this one eh? okay pick an image so let's go ahead and first write that uh, file so just come here and uh, do it what is it product add uh, so we're going to come out a product add so where there is uh, I don't know decoration of uh, entering the product uh, entering the price yeah let us go ahead and uh, add there a uh, pick from I mean take a photo from camera and take photo from what from uh, from, uh, from 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 gallery so to do that we just simply write here let me see how I've been doing others okay so let's go ahead and put here just a row and then in this row we can add uh, children and then these children we can have uh, our first container and then and then we can have a child in this container and this child can be is the application running oh it's running on the real phone let me first stop it i won't run it on the emulator uh, so uh let me come and search here uh, flutter what flutter buttons because i don't know them <laughs> flutter buttons i've never memorized the class a flutter button i don't need the package yeah we have what you call flat button raised button i want to flip this flat button eh? so I come here and add a child and put flat button and then this flat button will take a child and this child can be what can be a text and then you can put here maybe uh take a i mean use camera use camera uh-huh okay there's another attribute i think that is missing which is on pressed eh? so are they on pressed oh, flat button is deprecated this one is deprecated just use text button hope it's working for it text button use camera so here it will put just put just print from camera okay save so run there so here let us put maybe some text also text and say add photo add photo and then we can surround it with padding 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 of maybe 10 and you can make it centered center put it outside i think eh? center 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 yeah add photo can give it a little bit color
okay style text style and give it some color of colors dot black and maybe some give it some weight some weight of maybe mm, 500 and put uh, bold can put text weight is it text weight ah, just include just the size and maybe make it 20. so let's see what we've got click on plus so add photo yeah it's beautiful uh padding 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 let us make it maybe 10. save so add photo use camera and then just put the other side uh, pick from gallery use gallery pick from pick from gallery one side is use camera another one use gallery <laughs> Pick from gallery, whatever. Gallery. I don't know. So pick, uh, let's make them be. So come here and add uh, what's called um, max axis alignment. Max axis alignment dot um, evenly. Evenly. Space evenly. Uh, beautiful. So we have them space evenly. So use camera. So when you click here, let's put here. Use gallery, use camera. So yeah, when you click here, when you click here, you should see something like use gallery in the in the what, in the console. So click here. Use from camera. Here, from what? From gallery. Beautiful. So after doing that, now let us go and do the logic in case you want to pick from camera. So if you want to pick from camera come again to flutter image picker and then uh, copy this link of camera it's just something very simple you see x file camera so let's go ahead and uh, write here a method and call it pick from camera so just come here and uh, where there is use camera well on press of use camera and put pick from camera I'll pick image from camera and then put a semicolon and last I press control hold it and press enter press control and hold it eh? and then press enter then you'll see this suggestion click on method okay method so they'll create for you what a method so this method is where I put this line of picking from what from camera so I also here press control and enter or you can just move your mouse there and then click on this red icon this red bulb or just press control and enter then you see import import that shit import that stuff <laughs> also come and click here and add and sync and also come and click here a uh, picker so how to initialize the picker how do you get the picker you just copy this one eh? picker can we put an global yes can make it global so picker so once it finishes just uh, let us dump this one eh? print and put it there so you see dot path. So in case successfully does it, we put dot path. So first check if it is not null. Eh? So if uh, photo is not null, then you can know that everything is okay. So you can put your print photo dot what dot name to get the photo name that you have picked from a phone, from I mean that you have taken from a camera. So save. Uh -huh. Now use camera, click there. Ta beautiful, it has loaded our camera. So, right the Android camera. So, if you're using a physical phone, you could be able to see. So, you can move this camera. How do you move it anyway? By zooming, by. You can move this camera. This is how you move it. I cannot move it using my mouse today okay there's a way how you move it eh? but don't mind oh, switch to video instead okay 
my mark is not moving it why how okay whatever let's take that photo so if you're having a physical mobile you'll do it you'll be able to take the photo so when you click ta it has taken a photo you can retake you can delete so let us see here when it finishes we should be able to see this name of the name of this file in the in the console Let us click on check you see the file is there the file name is here can you see the file name is here this is the file name the full path and then dot jpg that's the file so I mean that from there we can start let us get the path now path dot what so there we can get the path okay so let us go ahead and uh, take another photo just snap beautiful confirm so you see you have the image path there okay so let's go ahead and create here our image path that is going to be global variable that we're going to be updating in case there's an image that we want to upload so i'm going to make it a string and going to call it image path and make it nothing by default okay so once this everything is okay we'll be just updating this image path either use the camera or use the gallery we'll be updating that image path so i'm going to duplicate this method and create another one for for, for gallery i mean for use gallery so duplicate it go to shift d and then come here and say pick from gallery so here the difference is instead of image source dot camera you just change image source dot gallery it will suggest for you and the procedure is just the same so now let us go ahead and call this method when someone clicks use gallery use gallery pick from so we'll come here to the button of use gallery so by doing like that you can create a chatting system where people can share images you can create a blog you can create just once you have the knowledge the 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 creative the, the, the ideas sky is the limit you know ideas <laughs> you can just get any idea you create a chatting system where people can share images from their phone they can take phones why not okay so let's use use gallery and see when i click on use gallery it's now launching a gallery so just because i don't have some images in my gallery that's why so let's go ahead and download some images first uh so okay let's go ahead and we're out of time let's leave that one but okay let's go ahead and download some image so I'll come here to my chrome and then come and uh, get here some image jumia what are we going to upload uh what we should upload uh spoon okay so i'll come and click on images and then download this spoon there long press and then say download image so it's downloaded now if we come back to application okay so you see now from gallery we have now an image of spoon so i click there now we can make sure that that even the path of spoon you have it okay there is not updating here yeah. i don't know why okay we remove the printing eh? that's why it's not printing it so that's it so now let's go ahead and look at the logic of uploading this spoon to our what to our server so to do that uh now here while there is upload how many minutes remaining 10 uh, remaining five i'm going to have my iftar eh? so here where there is uh upload where this upload where's upload 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 do upload eh? do upload here do upload i'm going to come here and check if there is a if there is an image if i'm going to check so i i want to add also what okay let us come here after putting this blah 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 now have to check if there is an image which is selected or not so you know our image by i mean image path image path by default is what is empty so i'm going to check if is not empty so i'll put exclamation mark it's not empty 
So let me always return here just to make sure that uh, I don't go beyond here. Okay, so I'm going to say print. Uh, good to upload. Let me put here the image that I want to upload. Uh, the image path. Okay. Dollar sign. Image path. Okay. So let us go ahead and save that. Come to application. So when I click on submit, can you see? Go to upload the image path. That is it. So even if it's uploaded image, uh, image that was taken from camera, still we have to upload that image. I hope, I don't think that ga our gallery is working. I don't think our gallery is working. Pick from gallery. Are we updating? Pick from gallery. Pick from gallery. If photo is not null. Hmm. Hope, hopefully, hopefully it works. We'll see. So when you click on submit, you can see the image path is there. So once the image path is not empty, we're going to add that path. You see? We are going to add that path to this form. Okay, we are going to add this path to this form. So to do that, we'll just simply come here now uh, to to do what is do 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 flatter do the do package, and we see how they upload files. So this is the do. So search control F file upload. You see? This file download file upload it is here. So they say that you want to add upload to upload a file, do this. O C D K. This one. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we'll do, we just copy paste it here. So we'll just get our form data and add there. So we're adding there image because on the server remember we named this one as what? as image you will be looking for image equals is it that dot uh, image or dot append dot append i think mm, i think it's that one eh? uh, equals await why is showing error? I think it's supposed to be okay, okay, okay. What you should do? Oh, it's supposed to be in the form data. Okay, so let us first create here a simple map. So I'm going to first create a map. So it's going to be a map and uh, put here string comma dynamic. And then put here uh, raw data. Maybe call let us raw form, and we initialize it to this one. Eh? And then this raw form will be putting it inside now this variable. So I'm going to cut that form and put it after the image here. Now this raw data is so where we want to add the what the image in case it is there, like that. I think yeah. So let's stop crying. So in case it is there, just say equals. Uh, await multipart file dot file. So put here the image dot file. Then put here the file name. I mean the, the, the path. So which is this one image path. So I'll just copy that image path and paste it here. Okay, the path. Then here the, the name of the file that you want. Okay, so I can put maybe image. Okay, image. Okay, but this is option. Eh? And then put the semicolon at last here. Or can just simply, yeah, it's an option, I think. So, like that, okay? Remove this last thing. I think there it will be able to do it to add that path. So, save. Let's try and upload. Remove this return. Oh. Save. Uh -huh, which thing I have not uploaded? Spoon, eh? Spoon. And then maybe you can say maybe it's uh, 600, 650. Save. Uh, so hopefully that will work. Submit successfully. Just go ahead and see if it was uploaded. Eh? Uh, say refresh here. <laughs> In fact, you can refresh from here. Boom! It uploaded. Can you see our spoons? 
And these spoons, we know they are coming from what? From mobile phone. That is very nice. So you can look at this code. Eh? So that's it for today. Now in the next class, we'll see how we can now list these things now what? in our mobile phone. You can see spoons have come. They are appearing on web, and you know they are coming from mobile phone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you this source code. Maybe you can also start from there. So once you have such an idea, it means that you can do many things as long as a, a computer, I mean a mobile phone can upload this information to the what? To the server. Okay, we'll start from there in the next class. I'm going to share these videos and uh, the source code also. So thank you for being part of this class at this point. Anyway, is anyone there? <laughs> wali, wali, yes, sir. Well, I wanted some assistance um, somewhere. So 